Do you appreciate him? I will tell you, they, we have a rule growing up in my household. Sunday night football, muted. Not allowed and- to be on. I don't feel that way. That is my, my stepfather's uh, views of things. But I spent a lot of time watching and not listening to NBC football games because of how little he had. He liked Chris Collinsworth. He's not my favorite. Um, I don't dislike his in, uh, analysis to the point that I have to mute the television. Um, I, there's also, you know, to, to me, in terms of all the analysts, he's the only one I don't remember watching. Like, I remember watching Troy Aikman, mm-hmm. obviously Tom Brady and, and Tony Romo, too. And so I have at least that connection with them. Chris Walt- Collinsworth, I don't have that connection to. Um he, he definitely has a very distinct style. Um, it's not for everybody. I, I do like, you know, that he has been um, willing to adapt to analytics and, and PFF and, and all that kind of stuff. He's an investor in PFF. There, there's definitely some head scratching stuff, like when he just totally misremembered the rules of, of overtime. I think it was in week one this year. So um, not yeah. my favorite, not, not, but, but also not the strongest take from me here. He's uh He's there. He he's background noise for me. Got it. I I I find myself over time and thinking about it, analyzing it more since I started working here. Like I kind of like Collinsworth and Aikman and Aikman the most. Like I just I kind of want that. I just want a capable, steady. Tell me what just happened quickly and let's keep it moving. I don't need exuberance. I don't need the smartest dude I've ever heard. I love Greg Olson. I think we've talked about that but he kind of blends both in a really good way. I think that's why I like him. But I just think Collinsworth and Aikman both, it's like they just know what's going on. They've been, and, and it really is the experience of doing this job. I don't care what they did as NFL players. It's the experience as an analyst that really comes through that I just appreciate and that feels comfortable, I think, the more that I watch it. But again, I mean, that's not me saying the dude's a genius. I just think he's really capable, and Tariko is – even maybe more so. So it's like that broadcast is just very, very in the pocket. And I think NFL fans just kind of appreciate that about it. So great to keep it together. 